Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, E-mini futures daily chart, and we had some, some follow-through yesterday by the bulls. Um, the bulls continue to struggle with, you know, that 2112 to 21, 2115 was the high yesterday. They pull back again. The bears are having trouble getting below the 2104 area. Um, going into today, what I'm really looking for is can the can the bears break below 2097, the area of the weekly pivot. And what you're seeing here is the middle uh, the middle band, the middle Bollinger band. It's coming in at 96.73 this morning. So that's essentially lining up with the weekly pivot at 97.20. So a retest of the mid-band to try to establish that as support isn't out of the question. But if you're the Bulls, you're playing a pretty dangerous game. It better hold. If it doesn't, then you're going to see, you know, you're going to see more sellers come in. They're going to go down and take a look at that, you know, 84 area, 83 uh, down to the Thursday low down in the 70 area, maybe to see if that's real, see if they can, you know, if, if that's solid support or whether what we did yesterday at 2115 was create a lower high. So if you look at this move, here's the two down day move back on the, uh, the 16th and 17th of April. Okay. You have your two down day move here. I'm not concerned that these highs were rejected. You had highs rejected all the way up. It's that that is very typical of the two-sided market that we saw then, right? Highs were rejected. We continued to grind higher, but nobody was dominating the tape. Nobody dominated the tape yesterday. Um, you know, it was a green day, but nobody dominated the tape. Now the bulls dominated Friday. Um, so I'll be interested to see. Who tries to dominate today? I think it'll be more frustration. I think well, I think everybody's going to have their time. You're going to see a move back up to the 2112 area. That was where we failed off of Europe Open last night again in the area of 2112. If 2112 gets confirmed, or what you've seen this morning is a couple of moves to 2109, uh, one at about 5:45, 6 a.m. Eastern time, and another uh, headed into the 8 o'clock hour. If 2109 wants to be a lower high versus 12 and 12 is a lower high versus 15 then that sets up a break below 2104 for a move down to 9720 so for our part um i'm short 2113 quarter from yesterday i held it there was no reason to get out of it uh, europe was nice enough not to stop me out while i was asleep last night um and um i still have a longer term long position from last week at 2085 half, which I'm also not getting out of. That's a very small position. I'm holding that to see if we can move up to upper band. Um, if we see a break though of the weekly pivot, I'll probably go ahead and just book the rest of the profits on that and then we'll, you know, and, and revisit uh, re entering long at lower levels. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.